Hello, here is Moon and here is another challenge logs that have been waiting for too long. Let me cut this one open and hopefully get it picked on camera out of package. That came from Kikom as well. And let's see. Just as the first one, I'm not sure if it's his challenge lock or did he just have it? Yeah. Mock. Ah, oh, it's Mocky's lock. I know who made it. Mocky Tex. Abus. Mocky number two. All right, based on Abus, let's see how it goes. Made its way back to Germany. All right, let's find the right tensioner. And let's give it a go. Something in the back of binding right from the start. And number four, I guess, the next one. Okay, two at the back. Now the first one a little bit. Three, let's see, two is still loose, but three doesn't seem to be set yet. Okay, let's check the rear once again. All right, I will need a deeper pick. Some core rotation. And number three is binding again, I think. Unless I'm on the wording. I think it does bind, but now I lost the false set. All right, something in the rear is binding again. And the rear. Why is the rear ones keep binding all the time? But it, the front ones stay loose. I guess Moki being an experienced picker might have done something weird to this lock. Okay. Again, counter rotation that might have been kind of serrated. 
all right deeper well it's not really a false set but more core movement three again I guess and now it's a full set should be just one and two that I have to deal with unless two is max or min lift rather Five feels good, four feels good, three feels good too, two feels good, this must be number one, and it's open. Moki, nice one. Full 360 degrees is what I like to do to them. No traps or something. And let's have a look at the key and what's inside. Yeah. It's hand filed, I guess. Quite low lift on number two and the rest are deeper. The key works very smoothly and let's see what's inside. Come on, five, four, three, two, or set traps on almost all of them. I'll have a closer look later. And the core is stock. Nothing in there, just as it came from factory. Let's see the drivers. Where are my tweezers? Here they are. Should be a spool in number one. Oh wow, this is crazy. This is proper spool, nothing moving. It's kind of I don't know how it's called in a in English. One of those things that you put on table and spin it, and it keeps and keeps spinning. Nice looking one. Spring, a bit bent one, but it works. Second one. Are they made of key pins? No, I think they're made from the rod. Kind of completely homemade. Very nice. Weird shape. All 
Okay, that's a serrated double spool. It's like looks like two glued to each other. Nice. Come on, spring. I want you out. Okay, spring seems to be identical. Neither spooly serrated -y thing. Those tips on the other side are quite sharp. Spring. Again, it's the same. And the last driver. That's a stock. That's a standard Abus pin. What is it doing in there with all those nice custom made pins? Bible is stock. Mock DTX number two. And let's have another look at the pins. And that's it.